welcome to what amounts to football heaven. It doesn't get a whole lot better than this. The conditions are utopian. The sky is blue and the players are with us for a football match so widely and keenly anticipated. Truly, this is pristine and the uh, level of expectation and excitement is reflected in the smiling faces of the crowd. They know it means so much and they also experience between them a great sense of privilege at uh, being able to attend this most special of games. This one of the great amphitheatres of the game. You are welcome to it and indeed to one of the grandest fixtures. As you can see, we've already started here. Forward it goes. A really good feat from him. Really has the confidence and skill to be able to hold the ball up like that until support arrives a little sooner. Just maybe there he overdid it slightly and should have released it because the support was arriving quickly. Plays it out to the wing. well to intervene and dispel the growing danger and here's Immobile Chiesa plays it out to the flank and it's kept out by a stubborn defence Zayek oh well defended that had to be done Chiesa gets wrestled off the ball and Didi definitely fell there Zayek Henderson gets it back It's come from Chiesa much of a gap to begin with and to find it I think it was a fine drive and I don't think the keeper could have really planned for that I think he's a bit unlucky in that instance Chelsea get themselves into the lead Look, he's the one everyone expects to put the ball in the net. That's what he's paid to do. Caceres with the crossfield ball. Chiesa. Pretty robust, but it's got the job done. The half time whistle goes. Off they go for half time. They did indeed come in the first half. Dressing room in possession of a 1 0 lead. Oh. 
So off we go once more. Well, 1-0 may be good enough, so they may err on the side of caution and, and get more players behind the ball instead of running beyond it. They could even try to, to spoil it from here, we'll see. Battles to win it back. on the left hand side now to profit from it Sayek floats one over Chiesa Chelsea are ahead here by what is still the only goal Strength too strong for his opponent. Chiesa. Ribery. So, Jim, what are you thinking? Well, this lead is beginning to look a little delicate. I'd rather see them show the ambition and adventure to go further ahead. But it seems as if they settle for a, a riskier approach now to defend this. Chelsea got their goal at the end of the first half and the score is 1-0. Ribery. Almost 75 minutes on the clock now. Throw it. That's neat. The goal is there to heave it away. And they've been caught out here. Tries a shot. He scores. A two the lead and they're firmly in control. Finishing doesn't come simpler than that. Bang in front of goal. It's almost criminal to see a defence fail to identify someone who thrives when it comes to shooting stats. They knew, and yet they didn't need them. They paid the price and deserved it. Both sides then taking this chance to turn to their benches. Chelsea take a two-goal lead, and things should be comfortable from here on in. Adele spreads it towards the left. Sayak out to the right. Coleman goes for the cross. Lingard. Oh, good take in a good area. Got a sight of goal here. It's one. Considering he has a bit of a, a shoot on sight policy, he was the one player that should have been picked up then. It was both careless and costly for Moranzit. He's made it two, and no doubt he's hungry for more. Chelsea. 
referee looks at his watch and blows his whistle. Chelsea enjoy their perfect day for their victims. It is entirely imperfect. Comprehensive winners of a one-sided contest. Would you summarise what we've seen today, then, Jim? Look, we saw some textbook football from White areas that continued to produce expansive attacking play that was ultimately too hard to handle. They were simply too good in, in the wide areas. This is a performance that hasn't just got my approval.